Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to the Scan Tool Network. In this video, we're gonna be taking a closer look at the top five handheld diagnostic tools for the Mercedes C-Class, that's the C204. And that is the same for the Coupe, the Saloon, and the Estate version, okay? Now, we've got five tools lined up here. We're gonna go from the cheapest through to the most expensive. And what you'll probably find is that the cheapest tool has the least amount of features and functions. And as we go up to the most expensive tool, then you'll probably get a lot more sort of professional features and things that the garages will be able to offer you, okay? So I'm gonna put the links to all of these kits in the description below these vi this video. I'll also put them in the pinned comment as well. Um, what I'll also do as well is I'll also put an email address in that description. And if you do need to contact uh, to find out whether one of these tools is suitable for your vehicle or not, and whether a specific function is gonna be suitable for your vehicle, then please do use that email because the comments just generally don't get looked at on these videos, okay? Uh, so we're gonna start with the Mercedes, uh, oh well, MB version 1.0 tool. Uh, this is currently 99 pounds, and it's a handheld tool plugged straight into the diagnostic port of the vehicle. And this tool is perfect if you need to sort of cover one of the following systems. So things like engines, airbags, ABS, transmission, uh, oil service resets. So if you've got like a warning light for the airbag or the ABS or ESP or traction, uh, glow plug warning light, something like that, this tool will allow you to diagnose that those faults and also reset them as well. So. Uh, in some cases, you can get away with just doing a reset and not taking any action. Uh, it all really depends on the nature of the fault. If it's an intermittent fault, uh, then sure, you can reset the fault with this, but if it's a genuine and um, it's a current fault, then you will need to maybe say, replace the sensor or replace a bit of wiring or something like that. But this tool will ultimately tell you where the problem is, okay? So this is perfect, as I say, 99 pounds. If all you need to do is just reset a warning light or diagnose a fault with a check engine light, a glow plug light, uh, something along those lines, okay? Uh, so that's the MB version 1.0. We then come to the MB version 2.0. Now this is a little bit more expensive, looks a little bit different. This is 149 pounds as it stands. Uh, this has a few more features than this. So this tool here will do everything that this tool will do, but this has additional features. So I've got a list of the additional features here. So it'll do DPF regeneration, it'll do electro throttle calibration and control, injector coding, um, oil service reset, just like this one will, and steering angle sensor reset as well. So it gives you a few more features and functions. Ultimately though, it will also do all of your main systems like the engines, airbags, ABS, transmission, uh, you name it. Things like, also things like power steering, um, HVACs, air conditioning systems, um, and there's lots of other systems within the vehicles as well, but it's just what I'm, when I say engines, airbags, ABS, transmission, etc., those are kind of like the main systems, okay? Uh, so that's the MB version 3.0. Actually, what I forgot to say as well at the start of the video is that at the end of the video, I'll give you my personal recommendation. So if it was my personal money, which of these tools would I buy for my Mercedes C-Class? Um, so it's worth, it's worth sort of noting, because I'm an owner of a Mercedes C-Class as well, so it's worth, noting what a, an actual C-Class owner would buy, okay? So that's the one, that's the two, then we come to the MB version 3.0. And as you probably guessed it, this will do everything that these two tools will do, but this does have additional features and functions, okay? So um, this tool is, well, it will also do all of the, um, the special functions that this tool will do, but I'll just run through some of the special functions or service functions that this tool has. So it does uh, throttle position sensor monitoring system, air suspension systems if, if fitted, uh, steering angle sensor, oil service reset, injector coding, electronic throttle calibration, DPF regeneration, and there are a lot more service functions on this tool in fact, okay? Um, some of them less important than the ones I've just mentioned. Um, this tool also is a bi-directional tool, okay? So it allows you to specifically pinpoint certain faults. So let's say, for example, if you've got a window which isn't going up or down, um, it could be the motor, it could be the switch which is at fault. This tool allows you to independently test the motor and independently test the switch. All right, so that's basically what a, a bi-directional um, or actuation test tool will do. So it allows you to, to test a certain, um, more, like I say, motor or switch or component within the vehicle, right? And that is, it's quite valuable to have if 
you've got like a fault code, but it could be a range of things within that system, all right? Um, so this is, uh, this is a little bit more than this one. It's only 20 pounds more. I think this is like 169 pounds. But this, re this really does pack a, a, a big punch. And I think if you're, if you're considering this one, then I would definitely consider this one for even 20, 20 pounds more. It's, it gives you so much more functionality. Um, and vehicle coverage as well, I will add. Even though we're only talking about the, new, the, the 204 in this particular video, this does cover a lot more vehicles. And in fact, if you have a Mercedes-Benz, generally sort of round about from 2013 to 2014 onwards, this allows you to interrogate the ECU and find out the genuine mileage of the vehicle. So it allows you to see whether the vehicle has been clocked or the mileage has been uh, put back at any point. So that's a really useful feature of the MB version 3.0, okay? Um, so then we move on to the CR Pro Kit. So this CR Pro Kit is a multi manufacturer kit so it will do let's say you've got a mercedes-benz and you've also got like a mazda toyota audi bmw c8 skoda volvo something like that you've got a few cars in the family um, in, in this tool here as i say does a wide range of manufacturers but it has the functionality of the version 2.0 all right, so if you like the sound of the 2.0 and you've got more than one vehicle in your family that you want to maybe take care of, then the CR Pro Kit is definitely one to consider. This is a bit more expensive because it does cover a lot more vehicles, okay? This is £259 as it stands. And it's a good option. It's been a good seller for a number of years now. So, um, you know, this is this is a fantastic tool if you've uh, if you've got a few vehicles to look after. Now, after that, we then come to the CR Max. All right. Now, this is kind of like a step above this tool in terms of functionality, vehicle coverage. So this tool here has the functionality of the version 3.0, but in a multi-manufacturer kit. So this is a multi-manufacturer kit, has the functionality of the version 3.0, and it packs, it, it has so much data, so many um, special functions, service functions included, and also a lot of system coverage as well. Uh, it does live data, so it'll allow you to, let's say if you're wanting to change the, uh, the, the oil in the, in the transmission, and it needs to be a certain temperature before it's drained, well, this will tell you. In fact, I say that, I say all of them will tell you the temperature of the, uh, the transmission, so don't, don't be fooled by thinking it's just this one that'll do it. They'll all, they'll all do live data to a certain extent. This one will give you the most amount of live data though. Okay, so this is 359 pounds, but I think it's a small price to pay, depend, considering how much you would generally pay at a garage for these service functions to be reset or, or sort of um, changed, if you like. Um, but it's, it's a fantastic option. And honestly, this, this, but this one's been selling fantastically for the past sort of four or five years. This one more so for the past two and a half years, but um, it, even though it costs a bit more, I think people are recognizing that this gives you so much more ability and so much more coverage and functionality, okay? Now, I said at the start of the video that I would give you my personal recommendation on which one I would buy if it was my personal Mercedes. Um, it, it's difficult for me to say and to, sit to uh, sort of predict what your circumstances. So what I'm gonna say is that if all you need to do is reset a warning light, like an airbag, ABS, or diagnose a, a faulty engine light, a glow plug, something, and that's all you're really interested in doing, then you really don't need to look past the MB version 1.0. If you're like me and you like to have a bit of functionality from the tools, um, and if it was me personally and my money, I would go for the version 3.0. Um, this has excellent software. The, the software and the hardware on this tool is much better than this tool, even though they look the same. This is built on a different platform. It has more advanced hardware in, so that means it can, it can house better software. So this tool is definitely the tool I would buy if I was just focusing on my Mercedes-Benz, but in my family, we do have a few other vehicles. We've got a VW, an Audi, I've got a Porsche. So for me personally, I would go for the CR Max kit, okay? So it all depends on your circumstances, but I would say definitely between these two tools, if it was my personal money, knowing what I know about the tools, I would definitely put it into one of these tools here. Um, and I think that's about it. Um, there is one more tool I'm gonna show you actually, and if you wanted to go sort of way above 
over and above this, then take a look at this one here. I'll also put the link to this in. This is called the CR Ultra. And as you can see, it's like such a, a big package, big box. This is, um, this is like garage level stuff. This will basically allow you to do everything that the garages and the workshops can do. Um, so if you maybe, I don't know, maybe you run a, a small workshop for Mercedes-Benz or you, um, you're, a, you're a mobile mechanic or just a small garage or a, an enthusiast who maybe has deep pockets and you want to get the absolute best tool. Um, probably overkill for a car like this, to be honest with you, but if you've got um, other, other makes and models that you would, you would benefit from using this tool, then um, I'll put the link to this. And this is expensive though, it's about, I think it's about 1,500 pounds. So um, yeah, that's quite expensive. But I just thought I'd show you that in any case, just in case there are any, there are any of you guys out there who are wanting the absolute best and wanting to go sort of way over and above what is classed as the enthusiast range, okay? Um, so yeah, I'll pop all the links to these in the description below this video. Uh, free, sh uh, not, well, it's free shipping within the UK, but we do worldwide shipping. Um, so th the maximum you pay, I think, is like £25 shipping. Uh, ship anywhere in the world. So the email address will also be in the description below. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope this helps.